Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. Liberty Council files an amicus brief defending Proposition 8 in California. I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, director of cultural affairs for Liberty Council and associate dean for the law school. Uh, this uh, case in California, uh, Matt, is up before the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Judge Von Walker issued a ruling striking down Proposition 8, saying that it violated the United States Equal Protection Clause under the U.S. Constitution. That now is up before the Court of Appeals. We filed an amicus brief in this case. It's called Perry versus Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, by the way, the governor of California, is refusing to defend this Proposition 8. And uh, this brief that Liberty Council filed focuses on the fact of homosexuality being something that can be changed. And yeah. so, consequently, how can you have this immutable characteristic that is an identifiable class for purposes of equal protection. First of all, it's difficult to define what sexual orientation is. Mm -hmm. Secondly, sexual orientation or homosexual behavior changes. And we know of situations where people have left the homosexual lifestyle. In fact, on our brief was not only the campaign for children and families, but also Jonah, Jews offering new alternatives to homosexuality, which is an organization that says, listen, uh, we know for a fact that homosexual a behavior is not something that is going to be unchangeable, that in fact it is changeable. We focus on that issue and we also focus on the fact that homosexual behavior can cause significant problems not only to the individual but certainly to families and to society. Well, well Matt, uh, the, the Supreme Court has ruled in, in the past that in order to achieve suspect minority status, that is to say in order to gain the special protections as a, an identifiable uh, group of individuals such as, as black or, or female, that there are, are three things primarily that, that need to be in place. First of all, you, the, you have to be defined as a group by an immutable characteristic, an, an immutable, unchangeable characteristic. Secondly, you have to, as a group, have experienced uh, systematic discrimination over the years. And thirdly, you have to, as a group, suffer from political powerlessness. Well, we know that uh, uh, homosexuals, um, as a group, people who define themselves by, by their um, homosexual behaviors, uh, first of all, that it's not immutable. We know through the untold thousands of, of ex-gays, people who have left the lifestyle, many of them even living happy heterosexual lives, married with kids, uh, and so forth, <clears throat> we know that it's not immutable. Secondly, and, and the science backs that up, by the way. There, there's no scientific evidence that mm -hmm. people are born gay. Uh, secondly, we know that they do not suffer from political powerlessness. In fact, the, the homosexual lobby per capita is probably one of the most, if not the most, powerful um, in terms of money and power uh, or, uh, groups in the world, frankly. And thirdly, they have not suffered a, a sy systemic uh, discrimination over the years. They can come up with anecdotal instances of somebody maybe being fired because they're involved in, in homosexuality or so forth, but there is not a systemic uh, history of discrimination. They're just the evidence isn't there for any of those three things. So this is really the first time Von Walker is just going off the rails here and just dis dis determining because as many, many major media outlets are reporting, the, the LA Times, the San Francisco Chronicle and others report that he himself is in fact involved with the homosexual lifestyle. If that's true, first of all, he should have recused himself, but, but secondly, he's clearly engaging in judicial activism. He clearly has a conflict of interest here, and so that, well, I guess, would explain why he's gone off the deep end. Reading from our press release, when we issued this release at the time we filed the brief, uh, we say that our brief argues that homosexuality cannot be considered for increased protection like race because it is, one, difficult to define, two, impossible to classify, three, is not immutable, four, is subject to change, and five, does not meet the legal criteria for increased constitutional right. protection. Moreover, the existing research, our release says, 
shows that children do best with dual gender parents, a mom and a dad. Gender does matter to the well-being of children. And finally, homosexuality presents serious physical, emotional, mental, and other health-related risk, uh, not only to the person who is engaging in it, but obviously to those in the community and the environment. In fact, a study just recently came out with regards to HIV uh, among homosexual men and one in five, I believe is what the That's report it. said. One in five uh, men who are practicing in homosexual behavior are HIV positive. I mean, that is astonishing. 20% yeah. of the population is HIV positive. That not only has effects on them, but also they transmit that when they have sexual activity with other individuals, yeah. be it men or women. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, you know, I guess as believers, we're, we're never surprised when um, science ends up validating uh, God's transcendent truth that he gives to us revealed in his will. And, um, you know, Matt, um, Scripture, James 1, 15 warns, quote, Then when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. Well, this latest revelation, this study by the C CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, indicating that one in five so-called gay men are HIV positive is scandalous. I mean, it, it is just completely shocking, yet in our public schools, yet Judge Von Walker, yet uh, um, conventional wisdom in all the elitist institutions of media and academia and so forth, push, uh, propagate, uh, promote homosexual behavior as normal, natural, and healthy, that is unconscionable that they would do that and that Judge Juan, Von Walker in his decision would say that there's no difference between homosexuality and heterosexuality in light of the clear scientific evidence to the contrary just shows again that he has a mission that and that he is not interpreting the law, he's legislating from the bench. Well, obviously, the scriptures are very clear about uh, sexual behavior and the consequences of this kind of behavior. But common sense also uh, supports that, and natural order of things yes. supports it, and obviously science supports it. So everything lines up. Uh, but when, in this particular case, uh, Judge Von Walker wants to just pretend as though there's no differences, it's disingenuous. It's contrary to the facts. On the other hand, there are people who are defending marriage who also seem to want to shy away from these facts because they don't want to appear to be, quote, mean or, quote, homophobic uh, in some of the uh, adversaries' words. You know, the fact of the matter is uh, this is a serious assault on our culture, homosexual agenda and homosexual behavior. Uh, it's an assault not just on marriage. That's the, uh, that's the golden ring, so to speak. And when that topples, and if you have same-sex marriage, you have this ripple effect. Uh, this is uh, a no-compromise situation. One will win and one will lose. Homosexual behavior, the homosexual agenda, is not about tolerance. It's about dominance. And uh, we need to not be weak-kneed when it comes to defending these traditional and long-standing natural ideas and biblical truths of morality, and particularly marriage. Matt, homosexuality <clears throat> is a sex-centered, uh, narcissistic lifestyle. And, and, and it's unfortunate that it, it really what it boils down to is it's rebellion against God. And, and when children get caught in the crosshairs here, Judge Von Walker has said there's no difference between homosexual parents, uh, which we know is biologically impossible, A, uh, but there's no difference between homosexual parenting and heterosexual parenting. Well, that flies in the face of God. He is shaking his fist at God and saying, your natural design for marriage and family is uh, obsolete. Well, <clears throat> it's not obsolete. God designed it that way for, for a reason. Children do better with a mother and a father. Each parent, each sex, brings certain benefits to the equation that if one sex is absent, if mom or dad is absent, <clears throat> the child ends up suffering for lack of, of that benefit. No question about it. Well, we um, have filed our brief. As I mentioned, you can go to our website at lc.org, and you can download it. You can just go to the Liberty Alerts section and read the press release and then within that Liberty Alert there's a hot link and you can download our entire brief. I would encourage you to read the brief and share it with your friends because the information in there is what's important for you and other people in America to know with regards to these serious issues that affect our culture. Go to Liberty Council's website for more information. You can sign up for the Liberty Alert which is an educational email 
And uh, that is where we have the brief that you can find. You can also sign up for the activist email, the Liberty Council Action Grassroots email. Those are two different emails. The Liberty Alert's more of an educational email. The other one is educational as well, but it is an activist email. We want only activists, people who will do things, to sign up for that email. You can do that right at the webpage, lc.org. You can also order the book, Same-Sex Marriage, Putting Every Household at Risk. You can call 1-800-671-1776. And you can also go to the lc.org website and sign up for the Freedom Federation Social Networking. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.